Listen very well here. You know, one of the things that I've been asking, in fact, this came some few days also when I asked it about it. Because some things, they just come and I ask the Holy Spirit and then he quickly gives me a response of why it is the case. And in order for me to be sure that it's whether it's true or not, I just go to the Bible and I realize actually it is there. The Holy Spirit instantly shows me a scripture. So listen very well here. Yeah. Some people in your life, you must understand. In fact, my example was this. There are some people that when I look at today, I realize maybe we no longer, they no longer close with me. And you find that when I be honest with myself, I realize it's not even my fault. Some I can just see it is out of jealousy and envy and these, these things, you know. I can, even if they didn't say it straight verbally, but their actions, you find that it is speaking that they no longer stand me. They no longer, when they see me doing well, no longer say good things. But at some point, I was reminded that, but this person at some point, they helped me when I was in this situation or when I went through this. Then I realized that at that time, indeed, if it was not for them, I wouldn't have maybe went, made it in this area of life. But now it seems like this people, person or these people, when they came now, it would have been better if they, I never knew them to start with. But it became clear that it is all because they were forced to come into my life in order to help me. Let me tell you something. Some people, they are forced to come so that they help you. They are forced to be on your side so that they can help to advance you. Don't mind so much when after you find out you try to keep the relationship, the friendship and whatsoever going and nothing happens. They were there to take you to a certain area. And then that their task was done. Just like how John the Baptist came to prepare a way for Jesus. And when that task was done, they were, it, it was easy. They, he, became, he was beheaded. So sometimes those extra times for a friendship, extra time, extra life, they're just as a bonus because you feel like, hey, I'm not ready to leave the earth. I'm not ready to lose this person. But God still sees and like, ah, your friendship is not necessary at this point. And sometimes he realize the more you guys stay together, it's going to be harmful because now it's going to end up sour. So he cut it off. So listen. Do not worry who's going to come through for you. Do not worry when somebody who was supposed to be there for you betrays you and be like, who else can help me? God will provide help. God will provide someone who would be forced to help you. For them to help you, it is not a matter of because you beg them at all. It's because God wants them to help you. But make mis don't make a mistake of saying, ah, I don't beg anyone. God will know. At least and let them live on their own accord. That's what I'm trying to say. And if you are worried who's going to help you tomorrow, God will provide, given that you are not the one who pushed them away. I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. Let there be a help coming your way, a helper in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm Ishmael, and see you next time.